Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rafal and today I'm working on iPhone 7 that came here with no video. Um, it's the, the shop tried multiple screens and they're not getting any image. Uh, it's not no backlight, it's literally no video. Um, so what do we do here? We have a LCD digitizer connector here. And in these situations, uh, first thing I do is just uh, run the multimeter in continuity mode. So you can hear the beep once you connect these two and then plug one on the ground so if there's a path to ground it will beep which will indicate there's a short or uh, if you have a ZXW or a phone board you can uh, see the readings on the pins and compare them with the readings you are getting and on iPhone 7 Plus just like with the 6s and other ones um, you have like uh, data lines here, the, um, here is the backlight area and here are the lines that kind of power the, um, the LCD. This is the, like the chestnut stuff, so, oh, okay, so here you see right away, we have a beep, there's a short, this is, uh, this, there, there should be no short here, okay. okay, so this is a 5v7 line and it has a capacitor here underneath this stuff, but um, I never seen that one go out, so I, I don't usually don't touch it. And then you have a <clears throat> filter, and let's actually remove this sticker here because that's where the chestnut is, and it could be either chestnut. <clears throat> let's get a better tweezer here. Yeah, my this is what happens when interns get a hold of your tweezers. Now boss has no good tweezers. What is it, this one? So this is the filter that has the short on both sides. So I could remove the filter and check which side of that filter um, has a short. Is it a connector side or is it the uh, chestnut side? But on, on average it's the chestnut side and uh, it's either the chestnut or one of these caps. I'm gonna start with the caps first since they're the easiest. And I'm gonna remove this one right here. This one likes to go out, even though they look fine. You can hear the two beeps on both sides on the capacitor. You should only have it on one side because um, one side is ground and one side is the line. So you see this one is fine, no beep. This one beeps on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of heat to clean this glue here around and then crank it up to remove the filter, uh, the cap. Normally I have this pump here uh, running, getting the fumes out of the way, but since I'm recording and the microphone is right here, I'm not gonna do it. But um, if you wanna find out how to build a cheap um, fume extractor, then you can go to Art of Repair channel where he shows how to build one for 70 bucks. And that's what I did and it works really good. So highly, highly recommended. So let's try to get this guy out of here. Some separation. Now let's apply some flux. <clears throat> Just let's pop this guy out. And let's see if we got rid of the short by chance. This is ground. And this is the 5v7. So we still have a short. And this will be kind of dumb to check because we are on the ground. But uh, let's go ahead and remove the other cap. Let's clean this glue a little bit. Now, before I was doing a, a video uh, like two days ago, and I had a bad day, I wasn't really feeling it. But I'm like, I didn't record anything, so let's do it. And I had the same thing iPhone 7, no video, and it was really bad like I did screw up I actually started with the chestnut and I pulled three pads 
actually I'm gonna show the footage because I did record it I did fix it up and it did end up being uh, this capacitor here that's why today I went for it but it's always a crapshoot you never know which it's like the, what, how you say it it's like a box of chocolate you never know what you're gonna get should be a box of iPhones but sometimes that's what I get so this is ground I think all right so we still have a short after removing two caps now and this line goes straight to the um, chestnut here so let's 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 well this is a Russian roulette at this point because it can be a really anything that's shorted I could technically um, solder wire to the 5v7 and just put some power through it and see what's gonna get hot I mean, that seems like a little bit too much work so let's go ahead and remove the chestnut and let's try not to screw up this one the other one worked by the way and there's you know it was working it's all about making it solid oh, okay I need to get a new hot air station this one seems to be a little bit too running way hotter than normal it should I guess I'm gonna get quick there you go so now we remove two caps and the chestnut hmm How about now? What the hell? So I just save these for later. Let's remove this cap here. I mean, eventually <clears throat> something has to give and release that short. And nothing here looks obviously damaged. I think that was it. The small, the small guy on the connector side was the issue. All right, so let's start installing everything back. Let's install the caps that did not have to be replaced. And first, let's tin the pads. I can't well end well. Let's try this then. So I had some solder on my X-Acto knife and I just heated it up and that transferred to the pad. Okay. See, I can get into that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to heat the X-Acto knife. This isn't a perfect angle. And there you go. But I will show all these techniques in an actual dedicated video. Once I get to that point, pretty busy doing some other stuff not only fixing phones but still doing my tools so let's put the caps first all right so let's try to align these guys One doesn't want to let go. You jump, you do your thing. 
can touch. I think he can touch. Chip is jumping in its spot. Okay, now let's see if we still have short. We do not. But over here we are good. Let's actually flip it red and black. We're getting about 500, 550 power on. And we got video. All right, so I hope you learned something. Uh, if you liked it, hit that like button or dislike. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. There's more videos coming. So uh, I'll catch you later in the next video.